Hello everyone, my name is Daniela Andrea Velázquez Alfonso, student of the University of La Sabana, and today I have the opportunity to show you my case study about Dolce and Gabbana in China. In recent years, the fast-growing interest for luxury brands in the emerging economies of Asia has helped lift the growth of the luxury market. The Chinese market is becoming increasingly targeted by Italian luxury fashion brands, willing to make as much profit as possible. In 1989, Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana founded Dolce & Gabbana, an Italian luxury fashion brand which designs and sells stylish and quality products. This sector, driven by the strong demand for new markets, drove the firm to go international. However, DNG is facing a crisis in China after an Instagram campaign classified as racist. This happens when marketing teams think it is a good idea to play with cultural stereotypes. I'm going to talk about some aspects of the cultural marketing role in the promotional mix and how it could be applied. In China, it's fundamental to create a relationship or network in order to do business, which means that if a company wants to extend markets abroad, needs to firstly create an international extension, secondly penetrate the markets and finally integrate the home market with the international market. DNG took the decision of going internationally after considering their proactive motives. They choose China since its growing economy offers juicy opportunities for Western luxury brands. When China played an important role in the luxury market Dolce & Gabbana entry through flagship stores in the 2000s. To take full advantage of this opportunity, DNG had to consider many issues about why the consumers' behaviors change meaningfully from one country to another. The only way to do the correct localization is by understanding the ways in which a society understands, decides and communicates. Therefore, the promotional mix composed by five key elements must match with the Chinese culture, ethics and high context. Moreover, they should not take for granted making a constant research in the norms and mores of the culture in order to create the optimal promotion strategies. The Chinese consumer finds the Italian luxury fashion products relate with luxury, style, and elegance. Dolce & Gabbana entered through flagship stores. Their first flagship store was in Hong Kong. They opened their store in this city because it operates directly in Greater China, and the subsidiaries are in Shanghai. Over the years, DNG promotional mix have been focusing on showing their brand badges. But in recent years, the Dolce & Gabbana advertising campaigns have been upsetting the Chinese population. Since November, the brand has been trying to handle a crisis caused by an advertising campaign criticized as disrespectful and racist. The videos show a Chinese model struggling to eat Italian dishes with a pair of chopsticks. These videos were published by the brand creating a drama on social networks that led to the cancellation of a fashion show in Shanghai hours before its start. Everything got worse after screenshots of offensive messages apparently sent from Stefano Gavana account. The celebrities call for a boycott and Chinese e-commerce take DNG products out of their virtual portfolios. Later, the founders of the brand apologized through a video. They didn't understand the Chinese culture because they can be a global brand, but they should always have local sensitivity. Also, a deeply research had been shown that China thinks about maintaining diplomacy. The politeness and kindness are the most important, besides there are things that we are not supposed to do. It is fundamental to constantly do market research and key competitors' analysis to keep up with the very fast changes of the Chinese market. 
a combination of marketing strategies should then be used to increase and maintain brand awareness. The success of this combination of marketing strategies rely on clearly understanding and considering the iceberg model of the culture, the hostess cultural dimensions, the elements of the culture and the high or low context of the culture, while avoiding the self-reference criteria. To conclude, it is significantly important for the brand to think globally but also adapt some of their products, services, and communication, in this case, their digital campaigns, in order to match the local needs of any country in terms of their culture and behavior. Thanks for watching.